Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. What I have here is a cassette player, like a Walkman basically, called It's Okay. It was crowdfunded by a company in Japan and I bought it on Kickstarter. The reason I bought it is because it's cool. It's different. It is basically a basic cassette uh, player Walkman, very cheap in terms of mechanism, but it does have Bluetooth. So. <laughs> It's kind of an interesting little anachronistic device because no, you know, Bluetooth didn't exist when cassette Walkman were a thing. So you can, of course, connect with headphones, but you can also connect with Bluetooth. And the other thing it does is have a record button so you can record little voice memos. And most cassette Walkmans didn't have recording functionality in the day. There were some, of course, that did. But this one has a one specifically with a microphone for doing little mono voice memos. So it's stereo in terms of playback and mono in terms of recording. And it only really records through the microphone. So this is the box. As you can see, it says Bluetooth 5. Uh, the brand, Sakura, It's OK is the name of the product. I will link to the crowdfunding below so you can have a look. Reappearance of the romance of the 80s portable cassette in more perfection. Very well translated. Features 3.5 millimeter jack, Bluetooth 5 with on off switch and LED, transparent cover, built in microphone, control buttons, play, stop, record, forward, and rewind. It does have rewind, which is nice. Very cheap mechanisms that did not have rewind. It has an open handle, volume control wheel, and it's powered by two double A's with a belt clip. And it has, oh, I guess maybe it is mono. It says classic monaural sound. So maybe it's not a stereo player, but a mono player, which would add to the nostalgia vibe, I guess. Uh, I wasn't buying this for sound quality. I was buying this because it was cheap and it was cool. Able to record warm messages. So the messages are always warm, apparently. So you could swear and be mean, but they'll still be warm. Individual open space. Don't know what that means, but hey. So. I had to buy this because it was just funny. And of course, what did I do? I bought the pink one, right? Because I love pink, you know this. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. The packaging is very basic. There is the Walkman or cassette player. There's some instructions. It is a cassette that come with it. You can record on or apparently it comes with some stuff pre-recorded. I don't know. We'll find out. And then that's it. There's like a little insert here. No cables of any kind. So I'll skip on the cassette. Let's have a look at the instructions. Instruction manual. Thank you for purchasing It's OK Bluetooth 5 cassette player to ensure that you get many years of enjoyment from this product. La la la. Safety instructions. Shows you how to do the pencil of feeding the tape back in in case it comes out. You can see the basic controls here. It's a clunky thing. There we go using the Bluetooth transmitter. So, what's it look like? Well, it's in a bubble pack, which is kind of, maybe it's not pink, it just looked pink because of the packaging. Now, I just wanna make it clear, this is pink. Like, it's hard to see in the video because white balance is a little off, but you can see the labels are white, so that's the contrast. So belt clip, it's removable, I'm not gonna try it. This honestly feels so cheaply made right now that I don't even know if it was molded. It feels almost like it was 3D printed because the precision of the fit and finish is very low. As you can see here, like edges that don't match. I mean, what do you expect? I think it was like something like 80 bucks, which is, you know, not cheap, but look, even the finish here, there's some imperfection in either the paint or the, the molding, I'm not sure, but, um, you slide this open to put batteries, uh, two double A's, and then you can remove the belt clip. And then uh, here's uh, all the controls. And of course you can open this transparent door and the cassette slides in here. Let me actually show you that Just in case you've never seen a Walkman before. This is a cool looking little cassette. It's custom branded, which I think is clever. It's frosted like that. So you, what you do is you stick the cassette like this and you close it. And there you go, you're ready to roll, right? So uh, I don't have batteries, unfortunately. Uh, uh, it wasn't really well prepared. This is not about showing you this working. But the controls here are interesting. I'm gonna show them to you. So there's a play button, a record button, which obviously requires you to push the interlock back here to work. There you go. So I pushed it in. And then there's a stop button, a 
a play button, a rewind, forward, and a volume le level right here. So it's, it's a, just a, it's a, an analog volume control and microphone. And let's see. Oh yeah, so this is where the rest of it is. So you have the Bluetooth on and off right here, Bluetooth on and off, and an operation LED and the headphone jack. And that's it folks. This is the It's Okay from Japan, probably made in China. Definitely feels almost 3D printed to me, not molded. And uh, yeah, I don't think they did a big batch, but an interesting idea to make a cassette player that is Bluetooth. And I'm looking at the tape head right now, trying to figure out if it's stereo or mono, it looks mono. So this might just be a mono player and recorder, as I said, to get that nostalgia vibe. So that's it, folks. I <laughs> don't think I'm going to mention this anywhere on the podcast, but I think it's cool. I like cassette players. If you'll look, I'll uh, link to my Iowa higher end cassette player Walkman unboxing up here. I used to have Walkman in the 80s and 90s and I had some pretty high-end ones because I'm a bit of a sound freak. So this together with maybe the TCL earbuds that I just uh, reviewed would be an interesting combo. So I'll let you know how that works out perhaps. Uh, anyway, subscribe, like this video, tell your friends and comment below, click the notification icon, all that good stuff. And remember that this is the Mobile Tech Podcast channel. So if you want to listen to the podcast, it's at mobiletechpodcast.com. And there is a plethora of choices in terms of platforms. You're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and a bunch of other places. Just look for Mobile Tech Podcast and uh, subscribe. Tell your friends and all that good stuff. That's it, folks. Stay tuned for more videos soon. Cheers, everybody.